Hello, Matt Davis here with some homework quiz help. This one is from section 5.4. Suppose Y equals the number of people waiting in line at a certain fast food restaurant at 10 a.m. The probability distribution for Y is shown in the table below. Suppose we observe the line at the restaurant on a randomly selected day at 10 a.m. Determine the probability that Y is greater than 2 and approximate your answer using four decimal places. So the first thing we're going to do is change this so that we're giving help instead of answers. So we're going to change this to the probability that y is greater than 4 instead. And then we'll answer that one, which should be very similar to what you need to do on yours. So we want the probability that y is greater than 4. And the first thing we want to do is think about what numbers make up that description of greater than 4, and a key part of that is looking at this symbol and noticing it does not say or equal. So if it had an or equal line right there, we would include 4, but because it does not, we will leave the 4 out. So if we're leaving 4 out, what does that leave us with? Just the stuff that's bigger than 4, which is the 5, 6, and 7 part of the table. So we want the probability of 5 plus 6 plus 7. And then those are all given to us in the table, so we just read them off and write them down. The probability of 5 is 0 0.0534, plus the probability of 6 is 0 0.0169, and the probability of 7 is 0 0.0027. And then at this point, we just go to the calculator and add those up. Since it's a straightforward addition, I'll just jump to the answer. When you add those four together, you get 0 0.07. Three zero, And so then that would be our answer that we would put in our answer box down here. And then that's the end of it. So it seems pretty straightforward. So where is it that people are going wrong? The most likely place, like I pointed out a minute ago, um, is right here with this y is greater than 4. There's two things that could go wrong. You might accidentally do less than 4 instead of greater than. Some people do mix the symbol up. But the more likely is the difference between greater than versus greater than or equal. You throw that greater than or equal sign on, and then you have to include the 4. But in this case, that sign is not there, so we left the 4 out, and we started at 5. All right, I hope that helps you out. Good luck as you return back to the quiz.